Hello and welcome back with me, Admiral. So joining me back on Star Trek Fleet Command. So, uh, I've just completed the MUD event. So we just get 16k there, plus the extra bits and bobs. And that should be me completed in terms of the entire event. So as you can see, the battle pass is now done. We've just under 7 days to spare. So I just wanted to take a reflection. Now I've completed all of it. I just sort of wanted to take a reflection on what I think of the Battle Pass or the Mud Arc in general. Uh, in this, and that's what this video is going to be about: is basically just accepting these, and then we'll uh, we'll have some viewpoints on it. The only problem with well, I'll start with the positives, then I'll go to some sort of negatives, so to say, and then we'll get back to potentially some improvements they could do in the future so start with some positives the layout for example of this outlaws obviously it's called the outlaws it's the mud arc one uh, i don't know if they're going to follow this up with anything else but the mud arc one uh, essentially i love the layout it's a lot more clearer uh, it's a lot better formatted uh, so you, for example when you do buy the elite pass it's not hidden away in the event store when it, it I don't believe it should have been. So this is a lot better. I, I love the layout of this. It get, it's very clear what you're getting per each tier. Uh, another thing as well is, again, I also like the how long the event was going on for. So the event lasts 24 days. Uh, but obviously, if you're like me and you've just completed every single day uh, for the last, what is it, 17 days now? then you will also have completed the full arc as well. And that's without buying anything towards the arc. So that's without going to the actual, like, um, what's it called? The, uh, going here and then buying these two packs. <clears throat> so you can buy the Elite Outlaw pack and then the Elite Out pack 2, the cheaper version. You get 50 and 20,000. So I haven't bought anything this month related to, like, progressing me further in that sense i did buy the battle pass as i've discussed uh, hence why I, obviously i've got the bottom stuff um so yeah I, I recommend getting the battle pass as well because the resources that you gain is, is, is unbelievable i mean for example this level obviously this is specific to my tier which is level 31 ops so i get just shy of 20 21 million uh raw and then i get 83 million in terms of tokens so yeah it's pretty pretty decent overall to be honest uh, but yeah so i love the layout i love the fact that it's not as long as the old arcs and the main thing that i think this is different to the borg arcs that the were obviously we're running the last few months is i believe this has actually been a lot easier to achieve uh, i don't know whether that's because i'm a higher rank or uh, well higher level in terms of my ops or whatever but it's it seems to me and i've spoke to a few people that it seems to me that this this arc has definitely been a lot easier um, to achieve and which is good because if you're free to play for example like i'm trying to do as much as i can free to play um just to see what it's like and obviously i don't spend that much on the game anyway as everyone knows so trying to sort of see the viewpoint of a free to play player that is such a such a, a way to go in terms of if it's easy for free to play players then obviously you can imagine if you buy stuff or you are a whale of some form and you just buy everything then it's going to be extremely easy for them um but i think that's a very good way to go though because at the end of the day the free to play players you know as long as they're putting the time and effort in every day to do whatever the dailies are in terms of the events then I personally think they should be rewarded for it. Obviously, if you're going to buy stuff and skip stuff and stuff like that, then that, obviously that's down to your personal choice. But it's got to be geared. These types of events personally should be geared towards free-to-play, which this this event definitely seems to be uh, geared towards free-to-play, which is really, really good. Uh, another thing that's come off the back of this is uh, the actual missions themselves. So there were three sets of missions and the three sets of missions, to be honest, were pretty good. I did stream them live on Twitch. And to be honest, they were pretty good. I did enjoy them. Um, and the storyline behind them was quite quite good as well. 
if you want to check them out, they're probably over on Twitch or something, so you can probably check them out there. So let's go to some negatives. The problem with this arc that I found, which is the same with the old arc as well, is everything's very, very repetitive. So when I, when I, what I mean by that is it's, it's a bit like this game in, in a sense, is everything, every seven days, you can guarantee getting a certain thing every day of the week. And like, so you know exactly what's coming, which is good if you're doing dailies. That's very good if you're doing dailies. But when it comes to other stuff, like events like this, there needs to be an element of surprise to sort of entice people to want to do it. Because um, at the moment, just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again is very tedious and it does get very boring. Especially as well if you're a higher level player. Um, I'm not obviously a high level player in that sense, but I am quite high in terms of most people. When you got when you've got to go and hit hostiles, for example, and you've got to hit like a hundred hostiles just to get your, the one event or the the faction hunt done, for example, you got to hit a hundred hostiles. That gets extremely boring, extremely fast, uh, and it, you just hit and hit and hit. And I mean, it took me I think the best part of a, probably about three hours to do the whole faction hunt, um, which is unreal. It was about an hour per faction, just because of how many hostiles I had to hit, and it does get very boring. Uh, I don't want to, like I say, I don't. Obviously, there's not much they can do with the game because they haven't brought out in terms of content, like different style of gameplay. They haven't really touched that different style of gameplay. They've sort of added the element of um, the augment space. So obviously, as everyone knows, if you go to augment space, uh, like Yarda, for example. The nodes in Yarda are still ridiculously small, so 3,700. So this adds an element of, I presume they wanted to add PvP in this, so that this would entice more people to do PvP, but the only problem is, is no one, everyone's sort of come up with a pact of, because everyone needs it, just mind what you can, get off the node, and then everyone leaves you alone sort of thing. Well, that's just certainly what's happened on my server. No one's really bothered with anything, uh, like killing people in uh, augment space due to the fact that it just because it takes so long because of the how you got to go off and back on and off and back on and i really think they should change this at least add a zero so just put it to like thirty-seven thousand or something which would be so much better for the game uh, and it would obviously help a lot of players out as well so beyond that overall to sum up the entire arc i think it's been a very good arc uh, because of like the reasons I spoke about before, um, the only problem is, is like I say, it's very a bit dry on content in terms of on gameplay content. That's what I'm, I mean by that. So, which is why in the few like I've done a video on it before, uh, which is why I sort of feel like there needs to be an, an element of a, a more invigorating element to the game to try and spice up the game to try and lift everyone with the game. Um, so there needs to be like an element of PvP especially, but the the problem is is no one wants to do PvP, especially on my server, no one really wants to do PvP, uh, which is fine, but the problem is, is it, it, it makes the game very dull in that sense, because they're giving everyone shields, no one really does PvP, so you've got to mine for everything, and mining takes forever, and, and it, it becomes very dull in that sense. Um, so... I've done, again, I've done a video on future content that I think they should provide, but I think definitely now looking back at it that they should 100% try and provide some form of like PvP element more than what is already in the game though. So like they need to provide, like a, when I suggested it on the other video, like a bounty hunter style system maybe or a, you know, someone has a bounty on the head, you've got to find them, you kill them and get a reward. Because at the moment, the problem is with PvP is no one gets a reward from the PvP that you do. Uh, which is why people choose not to do it. Not like the PvE, because you get the dailies and then you get the daily rewards off that. Whereas PvP, if you want to add more PvP to the game, you need to entice people to want to do PvP. And the way, best way to entice people to want to do it is obviously to reward them at the end of doing it. That's just my view. Please let me know your view down below. Please let me know your thoughts on the mud arc. 
Uh, like I say, I have completed the entire arc now, so please let me know your thoughts on the arc. Uh, if you have completed it, if you haven't completed it, then uh, let me know where you're up to. Uh, let me know if you're struggling. I might be able to help you out in that field as well. Um, just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers. We're up to 133 subscribers now. So my promise to you is if we can reach a thousand by the end of this year, which is six months away, if we can reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, we'll do a stream where I will do a face reveal and you can see the face behind the voice. Uh, that will be on Twitch most likely, but again, that will be when we get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for all of the support everyone and for the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification though to let you know when I do post a new video. Also, later on tonight, we might do a live stream, or we probably will do a live stream at about 8 o'clock BST, which is British summertime. So that'll be 20 hundred hours BST. Uh, that hopefully will accommodate a little bit more so for obviously the American viewers and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully we can sort that out for tonight. And again, we'll just... It's going to be a more of a discussion uh, live stream. So we're going to go through the mud arc itself. Uh, I do advise you, if you do want to commute, like talk to me in the actual live stream itself, then please do head over to the Discord link down below. And you can join the chat once we go live, obviously, uh, at 8 o'clock. You can join the chat, talk to me, ask questions about the mud. Tell me what you think of the mud arc as well. And I'll see you there tonight. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Bye-bye for now.